Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Xenonauts. Where we left off, we had defeated all of the aliens for the beginning of March. I think today is actually March... Well, not today, but in-game, it's March 1st. Today is actually February 2nd. Let's pick back up and get a sit rep going, and we'll be good to go. All right, so... Yes, our two marauders, Squadron 1... Oh, excuse me. Are returning back to Juggernaut, having blown up this guy over the ocean. A shame about that, but no help for it. We got quite a bit of money, and I don't think we even lost anybody the past few days. We're still working on a few of those ships, but we'll get to that soon. A few ships, a few more marauders. So, I am. let's look at the radar coverage that we've got, and so on here. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got out here so far. I am really tempted to build another radar station up here in Russia. To stick one radar in it, and maybe put a hangar or, on it as well. But otherwise, it would just stand up here all alone, with its sole purpose for detecting other aliens, which might be in this area. Uh, we could build it over here on the edge to get Alaska, as well as more of America. If we were to do that, where would it go? It still leaves quite a big swath uncovered. We could even build a second radar in this one. That would cover... All of Alaska and most of whatever this area is on Mo uh, Moscow on so the Soviet Union. We could also go full tilt Soviet Union, just drop it here for all that coverage. But I'd like to get both countries. If I decide to do so. We'll think about it at the end of this video. Because I'm not going to start it today. It's March 1st. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait a day or two. Alright, so pretty happy with the radar coverage. This is looking pretty good. Our Marauders actually will have greater radar range than them as well. They'll help us find the aircraft, especially because our Marauders are faster, so they can get to where the, air, where the alien aircraft are disappearing off our radar range from. So, yeah, things are looking, this is looking pretty good. Being at the first of the month, we don't, really need to do, we don't need to do much inspection of the countries, but we're already earning another one, almost $150,000 from the countries for shooting down all these cruisers that are flying around. So for construction, we're still working on that new workshop over here and a laser battery done in three days. Probably this video they'll get done. And another laser battery, bringing us up to three. Working on another fourth laser battery in Juggernaut and a fourth laser battery in Wraith. For research, looking excellent on Valkyrie Assault Boat. We'll have to make up our mind if we're going to be working on that after the current Marauder group is done. And for construction, what are we working on? We're working on a Marauder over here, and a Sentinel Battlesuit and Chimera. They'll make another Marauder over here once this Battlesuit is done tomorrow. Here's our current Alien Elenium and Alloy totals, in case you're curious. Lots of leftover Jackal armor, my goodness. Alright, now let's go take a look at our personnel. Because everyone's back, so we should make sure everyone that I want on the vessels, vessels, is on the vessels. So, we have two injured assaults. We can swap them out, I suppose. So, let's see. Virago Vald, you'll be back on the job, as will Tavro T. So, jackal armor for both of you guys. Take off your equipment. I was about to say, no, we should we should do this. Well, actually, I could do this off-screen, but I guess we'll do this one on-screen. So we're just going to give them the ballistics at the moment. And then assign them off. Same thing with you, Danny. And then we will assign Tabro T with his default equipment. He's a little overburdened. We will drop a shock grenade. And then... Vald. So for you, sir, we don't have that Sentinel suit done yet, but it will be done very, very soon. So we can actually just give you this and wait till that's finished. Before we, well, I'll have to remember to wait till it's finished. All right, so is that the only injured people? Since we're sending you Vald, it would make sense to get your brother on this as well. So Mr. Apathy Man can get a Praetor suit. We'll actually hit the default equipment because we're gonna be unassigning or since spoon. Oh right, we have we have an extra suit of an extra plasma caster too. We have a full extra set, so there's no reason to ever 
have my heavies over here, not have the their equipment on them. All right, happy man. Let's get you assigned. There you go. Let's make sure everyone is where I want them. We have majors, lieutenant, shield, but you're recovering. How, how injured are you? Nope, you're not going on. Okay, so is everyone on the ship where I want them? Yes. And how about over here? So our people over here are back. We've got Hakar Marx Brothers. You'll be fine. You will not be, Siler 360. You come off the vessel and we take off your armor. You go unassigned. And instead, I'm you know what we're gonna do over here? Magic Quill will also be assigned. We'll have a Rocketeer and two heavies on knowledge. Yep, we're doing it. So let's make sure our Oh wait, can we not can we not do that? Maybe we can't. I thought we had an extra plasma caster, but maybe we don't. We don't, so we're not doing that. Crap. Alright, well then, Carl Marsh Brothers, you'll take some time off instead. And we'll get a different rifleman on here after all. So Game static. We can go back for this rifleman. Okay, he's fine. And we assign you to knowledge. Let's make sure everyone on knowledge has their gear and weapons. I didn't accidentally take anything off of them. We did not. Galoosh, you can actually carry a little bit more. So let's give you... Let's give you an electro shock grenade and a normal grenade. And why not? We'll give you an extra weapon clip too. You can carry it. And you can carry an extra grenade. So we'll give you a normal grenade now, Vulu. I think that will do for us. We can actually give you one too, Lumo Z. Yeah, if you guys can carry the extra weight, we might as well give you. Give this things to you. Old oh, so you can now. F I think you always could carry a pistol. No, I think that's a new thing for you. How about your rocketeer over here, Tim? Noah, can she now wield that extra pistol? She can't. She'll be fine. She'll be a little overburdened, but the moment she fires that first rocket, she'll be fine again. So we'll leave her. We'll give her that plasma pistol after all. Okay, that will do it. Let's advance some time. Whoa. All right, now we're just waiting for our, that one Sentinel suit to get done, and then Chimera can start working on its Marauder. Yep. Excellent. Go to the base. Go to our soldiers. Go to Virago. And there you go. You can actually carry more weight? Wow, 83 strength. That's amazing. I don't know what else to give you at the moment. We should... Arguably, I should always be loading up people, so let's give you another smoke grenade, because we use those pretty often. Maybe if one of these. Let's give him another electro... Uh, we have it. Another, another smoke grenade, Tim. You like using them a lot. And you can carry something else, too. Might as well fill them up. Okay. Oh, right. We need to construct something new over here. So, we want the Marauder. So, Done. Six days until that's done. How are our aircraft, by the way? We'll be dropping one of the Foxtrots over here. And when this Marauder's done, that will go over to Wraith. All right, now we're just waiting. Hopefully the research will get completed, and then once these are done, we can actually build the assault boats. Speaking of the assault boats... The D-54 Valkyrie Assault Boat is the ultimate conclusion of dropship technology, possessing enhanced carrying ca capacity and excellent range and speed. It also has one other unique ability. It can deploy soldiers to the battlefield via drop pod. Unfortunately, everyone, it must deploy the soldiers to the battlefield versus drop pod. The design of the Valkyrie utilizes the remarkable strength of hardened alien alloys to create a cavernous hull that weighs a fraction of what it would if it were made of Elenium. 
Once combined with a pair of powerful turbines and the A23 Elenium Pulse Reactor, we have a craft that is capable of carrying a full 12 soldiers or equivalent into battle. Considering the sheer weight of our more advanced vehicles and personal armor, this is a remarkable achievement. The fact that the Valkyrie can cruise at nearly 2,000... Oh, uh, wow, what is that? P... M? Hour? It's not kilometers, so I don't know what that is. Uh, while doing so is simply a bonus. Launch tubes based on electromagnetic launch tracks found in carrier UFOs, which we have not even encountered yet, allow Xenonaut units to be dropped anywhere in the landing area, though not in the not the entire battlefield, which sucks. At the start of battle. I was actually hoping that would be the case. That would be amazing. However, for balance reasons, they can't do that. The drop pods themselves may not look like much, but are actually remarkable pieces of innovation. Once launched, these will generate an invisible plasma field that protects the user and slices a path through the air at several times the speed of sound. Once the pod drops to within a few hundred meters to the ground, landing rockets fire and slow the descent to a safe speed. The plasma field dissipates the moment the pod touches the ground and allows disembarkage. Uh, wow, disembarkation. Those drivers may find the experience of being fired toward a combat zone at nearly a thousand miles an hour a little discomforting, but I'm afraid they will have to get used to it. I see little scope for further innovation where drops are concerned. The Valkyrie will be the final design we produce. And it is garbage! <laughs> garbage. So I really dislike the assault boat for uh, two reasons. Actually, it's more like three reasons. Uh, the main reason is is as, 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 all three of these reasons are, the, are because of the, of the way it deploys troops. Your troops are deployed in an area similar to... How do you even describe it? Okay, if you've ever played Final Fantasy Tactics, it reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics. You get an area to deploy your troops in without knowing anything about what is around them at all. You don't know if you're going to deploy them facing a bunch of walls. You don't know if you're going to be uh, near any type of terrain whatsoever. And when you're placing these people, they can't see outside of these areas. Next, uh, they can't run away. Uh, so if you're in a mission and it goes south... You're stuck there. You're not going to be able to withdraw any of them. You can't flee the mission, which is what you can do with at least with a Shrike. Even if the Shrike's deployment's pretty terrible too. Oh, God. Yeah, so actually, I guess it's just mostly those two reasons. I, I can't... Oh, and I guess another thing would be that we've seen that our troops automatically face the correct direction in the Shrike. They don't do that in this. You have to actually, you get to position your people where you want them facing. It's just, it's a terrible idea. I absolutely cannot stand the assault boat whatsoever. We may still, I mean, we're still going to make them because I want to consume my engineer's time and money and what have you. And then I'll just immediately scrap them for, uh, to keep our Charlies and just up the Charlie soldier stat by two and increase the Charlie's statistics to match that of the assault boat. Yep. That's that's pretty much it, because this ship has got awful. <laughs> Go to the research screen. All right, so let's begin researching our wraith analysis. How do I? Oh, they're over here, Tim. We don't need all thirty on this project. We'll stick with average, and I think we'll also work on the. Alien, uh, let's work on the battle rifle. Oof. Well, we'll get these done. We're still some time away from battleships, so we don't have to worry about alien leader interrogation this month, I, I suspect. Yeah, this is actually really tough. Without the, without the base upgrade, we're, this is actually a, it's, all right, it's kind of weird, because I believe at this time in the last playlist, I was not this far along, or just barely this far along. But I had already gotten the alien base, like, back in January, I think. So, when you get the alien base, I believe it increases all your research by 50% and your workshops by 50%. But we have been able to shoot down every single one of the alien UFOs so far. Or at least uh, in the times when they've been launching their base creation missions. We could let them try to build a base to take advantage of the fact that we want to hit that base. But realistically, I don't think we would, or thematically... That wouldn't make sense. That'd be a bit of metagaming. However, I do do metagaming in this anyway, right? You see me delay the disappearance of the alien uh, crash crash sites by sending multiple dropships in at it. Hey, all right. So we're done over here with our plasma battery and our workshop. So now we can hire 
More engineers? Oh no, Tim, you built a lab! Why didn't anyone tell me, tell me I was building a lab? <sighs> Destroy it. Lab. No, not a lab, Tim. You want a workshop. Rotate. Rotate again. Way to throw out $100,000. Costly mistake. By mid-March, we'll be done now with our, with our engineers. Darn it, Tim. Darn you. With that said, maybe we'll build another lab over here after all. Do we have the space? How, many, how much living space do we have over here? Uh, we have the space. Why don't we actually build another lab over here after all, Tim? We'll do that. We'll wrap this up quick. Because I don't like seeing poor for my research. That means we're falling, we're going to end up falling behind. We can always destroy it if we end up getting an alien base and getting that research jump. I can't believe I built the wrong thing. I can't believe it. Marauder intercept is finished. Awesome. Let's go to that aircraft. We gotta name you. Let's think here. Tusk. MRD. Relocate you to Wraith. And we could start building the Valkyries right now. Oh, good. Okay, okay, it's not. I thought it was 42 Elenium required. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, we're not building that. It does 42. Okay, so we can build we can build one here. We can build one in both these locations, Tim. That would be your two Valkyries done. Heck, you could keep one of them. Send it over to Wraith. Well, that'd be cheating. I would need to build a third one. Realistically. I kind of want both of them to complete at the same time. So, no. We will stick with our Charlies for a little longer. And instead, we'll continue to pump out Sentinel Battle Suits. Right? How many more of these do we need? One, two, three, four, five, seven more. Oh, my God. Well, let's do it. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's a lot of money. And practically all month, but we'll do it. I said seven, and I counted out eight. Let's do it. I want those Sentinel suits. They're way too useful. There goes Tusk. We're going to Wraith. Wraith, we've already paid for your... Um, your Foxtrot this month, so I think we'll actually just hold on to it on the off chance that could prove useful. In fact, it will prove useful, so we will hold on to that. I think what we will do, though, is we will also relocate one of my Corsairs back to Juggernaut. That way Juggernaut's able to handle anything that gets thrown at it. I think that's going to be good. We're not... Okay, we are building things. Our research is coming along. I'm just waiting. Yep. How you guys doing? I hope you're having fun with the playlist. I'm having lots of fun recording this. This time around. Everyone, it's occurred to me that this time around's been... It's been easier than the last time. So I mentioned Cheaty before, because remember that I have modded the game, and uh, there's no way, two ways around it. I made it easier, because I took out what I considered to be uh, frustrating parts. Remember that in this in this playlist, I have modded it so that the vehicles, uh, the vehicles, the aircraft are cheaper, uh, in so much that the starting aircraft, that would be the, the Condors and the Foxtrots, are $50,000 to maintain. The Corsairs were $75,000. And the Marauders are where we find it back up to 100000 In the base game, it's $100,000 for every single aircraft. So I had done that in the last playlist as well. Uh, mostly because the economy. I know lots of people mod their game to make things cheaper and or give themselves more money. And there's a mod that lets you produce. Uh, you can sell Jackal armor for infinite amounts of money if that's what you want to do. But I, my way around the economy, uh, beginning economy was to just simply make everything cheaper. So that let us build more air support to handle... Dealing with things in the sky, right? And, and also, 
What else did we do? We made it so that the soldier stats in this version of the playlist you're watching have cannot be below 45, and their TUs cannot be below 50, I think? I think that's the case. In the base game, the stats are a 45 TU cost and a 35 for all their other stats. I find those stats to be absolutely terrible. Like, those are... Those are some of the dregs of society, not people we should be looking at for uh, who we want as our soldiers. So I have upped them by 10 minimum. They're still not best when they got a 45 in something. In fact, I would consider that even average. Probably 50 is about what I would consider average. So I don't really view that as cheating, but it is. It does make the game easier. And finally, remember that I have upped the aircraft's refuel time. I doubled the speed at which they refuel. Again, I work with real aircraft. So, it's just mind-blowing to me how a fighter could take hours to refuel. That's... No. No. And it doesn't take hours to rearm them either. What the heck? <laughs> no. But, but arguably, Tim, you should also keep in mind that it costs nothing to repair these aircraft. So, that's the maintenance cost you pay at the beginning of each month. In any case, that ha uh, I did all those things in the last playlist, too. The difference here is that in the last playlist, I had modded the game so that dropships could carry four extra people in the beginning of that playlist. My goodness. A right, hello, cruiser. We will knock you out with two marauders. Hello there, little scout. We can take you out. With a single foxtrot, should be able to take out that. We should be able to take out this UFO with these two Marauders, Tusk and Cinder. Let me check all our aircraft, by the way, Tim. You want to make sure that your all your aircraft that you just launched, torpedoes, 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 yes, torpedoes. Okay, that's fine. Hello. We can send this squad at that guy. Auto resolve. Excellent work, guys. We turn to base. Auto resolve. We turn to base. Auto resolve. We turn to base. This is amazing. Hello. Center on that UFO. Squadron 3. New target. Hit this guy. When this squadron has returned. We can launch it right back at, at right back out at UFO 161. Um. Do we want to do any of these? I remember I mentioned before that we don't really need to do any of these. Not really. I guess we should for the Elenium. And if the first one that goes bad the rest of the month, we won't even need to do another one of these. Yeah, let's pass by a little bit of time. We have to wait till daylight anyway at these locations. All the resolve, we turn the base. Oh, hello, Fighter Wing! Shame you weren't able to catch us for for you. The good news is I know you're there now. And because these guys have to rearm themselves anyway, we can do this. Uh, one of you will rearm your missiles. We can send all three of you out if necessary. I plan to hit this guy with the, squ the squad from Chimera. Oh, hello! We can't do anything about that. We can't. Because we have this to deal with first. Right? And we're rearming our marauders with missiles. We could probably launch them, actually. When they're 50% rearmed. Because they'll have all the uh, plasma rounds ready to go. But uh, I'm not comfortable that we'll be able to hit this in time. We'd have to launch right now to get there. And that's just not going to happen with the air superiority force. So they're tempting us. But we're simply not going to be able to take it. Oh, our fuel's low as well. No, we're not going to be able to take that. But we can go to one of these sites. We're far enough away from the air superiority force that we should be able to reach them. So, let's go to the cruiser. And do it. Cherry Coke Zero. What would I do without you?
All right. Well, this is a factory map, apparently. We are in a kind of in a corner. We need to be a little careful. We do need to check out here. And nothing. Perfect. Let's move up a little bit, and we're going to immediately hover poetic tube. To take a peek. And see if we notice what we'll be fighting. Local forces are around. We don't see anything there. We see something now. A Haridan! He's inside the structure. I have no way to target him. Although I guess Noah could fire a rocket here to open it up for us and we could charge out here and set up positions. That might be a good idea. Let's get you on the ground poetic tube and then get you on the side here. Alright. Uh, we have a rock right in the way. That's good, honestly. We're going to set up here, though, with you, Commander, and you'll crouch and watch this side. So we're not fighting Reapers, which doesn't surprise me. We haven't fought Reapers in a while now. Um, Apathy Man, let's crouch you. And let's fire that rocket. You going to do this, Tim? Sure, why not? That goes... Uh, no. On second thought, I have already changed my mind. If that goes... If that misses, we could paste a few of us here and or kill Poetic Tube. So, no. We're not going to do it. We'll, we'll let the Harden fly around for a little bit. We're going to run up. Turn this way. Mr. Corey Jackson, you can run up. You don't see anything. You'll stay facing this direction. You can actually stay here and fire into that building. He's right here, I think. Uh, no, we won't have a shot on him. Crouch you, Robert, just in case. Tabro T, we can run you up to the wall. We can jetpack you over next turn. Miss Noah Mulder. I don't want to split the group too much. But that's my way of trying to convince myself that I shouldn't run down in this direction overly much. That's a bit exposed. The Harrodin decides to show up and fire on the side. We could throw some smoke in the way. Oh, you want up here as well? One more space, just in case we get a plasma grenade over the fence, which could totally happen. Whose morale are we using, by the way? Jonathan. So, Jonathan... Oh, you might be fine. Can you shoot through these? Uh, okay. We should be a little careful with where we move some of our troops. Oh, you'll run out here. Turn this direction. Could be an alien right here. Could be something on this side. Maybe we, have enough, we don't have enough to throw a smoke grenade, though. Or Phillips, you have so few TUs. Let's run you, move you here, and turn you in this direction. And crouch you. I just want to see if something runs in front of this area. That leaves you APEP. i like to have you on the roof here. I don't I know a good place to move you, how to get you there at the moment. So we're going to move you here. And crouch you in the case that Harrodin comes flying over here and we, and we actually notice it. Oh, good God! Okay. Androns. One of them fired a plasma rifle. That's the wrong way to run, lads. That's That was toward them. Looks like they pasted the, uh, the local forces. Okay, we really need to know where that Harridan went.
It wasn't this one that fired at it. So there's another one with a plasma with a plasma cannon somewhere around here. That Harridan isn't here either. All right, let's move you out. Yeah, we. I know that one's there. There's another one. That's the Harridan. Okay, he's watching where all of us are. Apep, take him down. Okay, that's really depressing that you missed one of those 94% shots, but it's too late now. Poetic Tube. Crouch you. Fire on him as well. Darn that thing! Okay, we're, we're not going to kill it this turn. I have to deal with everything else, I think, this turn instead. Maybe? Excellent shot, Noah. That also means you're not overburdened anymore. Uh, we can actually move you up here, Apathy Man. Turn you, crouch you, and you can fire on him to kill him. And then we'll move you back behind cover again. I need to know where this shot came from. I, it probably came from somewhere over here. Oh! Oh, we have a broken window! But I don't see how it, Andron could have fired there. So I don't think that what that's what did it. Let's move you up a little bit, Corey. It's a plasma pistol wielding one. If I move you here, Corey, you're gonna get your shield's gonna take two hits. I think instead we leave you here and we just throw some smoke. If you have the TUs, you do not. All right, you'll stay there. Noah's already fired. Uh, I don't know where that Andron is that has the plasma cannon. I don't want to risk losing you. But I'm going to move you up a little bit more, Robert. Okay, we don't see anything. Talbro T. I didn't see it. It could be around the corner here. It could move up, turn and fire on us, but I don't think it's going to. You could fire through the windows, though, Tim. So you have to do it to be careful of that. And that door's... Oh, that was the Harrodin who, who exited and launched himself up. Virago... I don't know where to move you. This is this is very dangerous for me to do. But there's no windows facing this way from this building. We'll move you here at the moment, sir. And turn you this direction. Jennifer Phillips. We'll leave you here with some reaction fire. And Mr. Commander Gessner, uh, let's have you come up a little bit. Okay, that'll do. Where did that plasma shot go? Who was fired up upon? This this guy died. That one civilian. Noah, let's reload with you. Jonathan, we'll move you up in this direction. Quite a distance to go, Tim. Crouch him here. At least I'll have some cover. Double check. We don't see anything there. Whew. 
Where did the extra shot g come from or go? It might have been inside the structure here. In which case, that Andron is inside this building. I don't really want to move you up anymore, Robert. But we're going to... We'll leave you here. I don't have a good way to deal with that Andron all the way on the side. Um, we can maybe get Apep over in this... Begin moving him in this direction. Actually, Apep, if you can stay on the... On the... The... Vehicle, you can't. Okay. Let's get you... Down then after all. Apathy man. I'm not sure where to move you. If you go in that building, Tim, and there's an Andron in there, you're going to be really upset. Because <laughs> you do not have the firepower to kill it. Let's just leave you there. Um, where are they firing from? I'm not sure. Let's move you up as well. Don't know where a good spot is to move you, Jennifer. Your TUs are so low compared to everyone else on the team. Man, it's a shame not to use you, so maybe you'll go in here. There's probably another one flying around watching where you're going. See what I tell you. All right, so they know exactly where all of us are. Let's move you here, Poetic Tube, and see if we can't fire on this. Way too far distance. Distant. Next turn, we can deal with it, but not this one. love to move you up, but every place I move you will be a risk. We're going to move you up anyway, Virago. Not enough TUs. You'll stay there. That will do it. Something fired through this window at an angle and hit you, Virago, square in your left side. I was actually fully expecting that to kill them. Did the Harridan shoot? Oh, maybe the Harridan fired and then 
hovered again. I'm gonna quick save everybody because I need Apep to kill that one. Uh, maybe here will be the best place for an aim shot. <laughs> Where is it? It's right here. There it is. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. That was well, a huge mistake, Tim. That was a misclick. That was such a misclick. We're just going to reload it. Well, that was supposed to be a 95% ch chance to hit, not the weakest 58% chance. Because if we can't, if Apep can't hit a 96%, there's no way I want him at 94%. You know, we need every percent we've got. All right, thankfully, I had just literally saved the game. We can run you back up here and do it again with the proper selection. If you still miss, well, that's that's this time then. Good. That's for hitting Virago in the face. Assuming that was you. Great, we're going to crouch you here. Run Virago up. Or fly him up, apparently. Really? Excellent work. Drop this on the ground, Virago, and heal yourself. Let's think. Jennifer, we'll move you around the corner. Still nothing. We still don't know what fired this. Oh, Tim, this could get really bad for you. Okay, there's nothing immediately around the corner. Good. Okay, this is clear. I don't like leaving anyone exposed by windows, as you've seen. We'll leave you sh there and shut the door. And that leaves Noah. I guess Noah, you can begin joining us. And Public Tube, we're we moving you. Oh, and Gessner hasn't gone yet either. Oh! The plasma cannon's over here. The plasma cannon wielding enemy. See that? Okay. We can ignore it. We can ignore it. But it's... I think we should probably try to deal with it. Poetic Tube will run you down here as well. Poetic Tube. Oh, Poetic Tube, you're, that's not at all what I want, to, who I want at the moment. I want Virago. Virago, put this back in your pack. We take up your plasma. Or we can stand up. We didn't see an enemy walk here. Oh, come on, game. I haven't done that in a long time. There he is. All right, that's the one we knew was in the area with his plasma weapon. His plasma cannon. They all have plasma weapons. Can you hit him? There's an excellent chance you will not take it anyway. The good news is that every hit is a hit he can't recover from. Noah. Darn that wall. <laughs> Has to be a long shot, Tim.
Nice! Excellent work, Noah! Two for two today. Let's move you out here, Corey, and check the side. Nothing. Good. Virago, you'll check... Oh, you don't have the TUs to really do... If there's, there won't be two enemies in there, Tim. I just realized this, this, this goes upstairs. Okay. We probably... Do I want to clear the building? That will take a while. I don't think I do. I think we just want to head on out and begin uh, taking out what's in the UFO. That was two plasma cannon wielding androns, but there could be more of them as well. We're not in the clear yet. Okay, I don't see anything close by to us, which is fantastic. Leave you there, apathy man. Uh, Apep, you're done. Quick tube, having you. There's windows facing that. I think Apep can go up there, though. We'll have you join the rest of us inside. You need to be careful, Tim. There could be more aliens around out there, too. Commander. You cannot kill an Andron by yourself unless... You get very lucky. Jennifer, let's begin keep. Let's begin keep. Let's move you up in this direction. And we'll end our turn. Plasma cannon. Hello, plasma cannon. Thankfully, it didn't see any of us. No, we need another one of those rockets at that entryway to deal with that. We also know not to approach that entrance at the moment. We don't want him turning and spying us. That would be a big mistake. Not until we have a rocket on that door. I guess we might as well search this. While we're in the area. So. Corey, you're going to run down this way. We still have another Haridan we haven't seen. Or actually, there could be multiple ones. Right? There could be a... A Harden leader inside the cruiser. Jennifer, I kind of want you where Apathy Man is, but I don't want to... Actually, Apathy Man can run, run, run over here. The terrain should block that thing's shot. You should be safe there. Let me scoot you up a little bit, Miss Phillips. What a tube. Now that I know what's over there, I don't really think I want to move you over in that direction. Uh... Propane tanks Get and or gasoline. There must have been some of that in this area. Commander, we'll move you into the smoke for a little better cover. And that will do it, I think, for this... Uh, Virago hasn't gone. Nothing in this room. Let's get you outside, then. I guess we'll have you join your brother. All right, that'll do. Ah, oh, 
something's running around out here. Or somewhere outside, I should say. Could be a civilian. Nothing in the structure. Okay. Let's then get you joining the rest of us, Corey. Uh, there could be one, could have been one back there, but we're going to ignore it if there is one and move you back up to join the rest of us, Commander. Where is Noah? We want her on this side. Really going to work today for us, miss. Poetic tube. Oh, Tim, that's a lot of open terrain. Hey, man, I don't really need to move you. We don't need to move anyone else. I want to wait for that rocket to hit, and then we'll move up. Plasma cannon's too risky for me to move, begin moving people into, into position at the moment. Apep. You'll have the coverage I need. Moving here is the best place, but if I move you there. You'll get fired on by the plasma cannons, so we have to wait a little bit first. Jennifer, I don't really want to move anyone up. Not yet. It would make the most sense for you to move up, but that plasma cannon, if it even hits this, it'll still hurt you. We're going to leave you here. Next turn, we'll fire this rocket at them. Okay, we don't see anything. This is looking good for us. On the off chance there is one up here, why don't we just toss some smoke on top of us as well? That was a misclick, but whatever. Doesn't really protect you very much, Corey. I think everyone else will just stay put. I do not want to approach that entryway until I deal with that enemy. Let's make sure everyone's as close as I'm willing to move them at the moment. Uh, Commander Gessner, you are not. You are where I want you. Apep, I'm not moving you out till we do with the plasma cannon. Alright, that's good. Uh, they're marching around in there, destroying stuff, making it easier for us to assault them. Noah, turn you. Crouch you. Move you into position. Apathy man. And crouch you to fire after this rocket goes in. Missed entirely. Stand up. Everyone backs up. This was a mistake. <laughs> we need to wait two more turns. Uh, we need another smoke grenade or we're going to lose Noah to that plasma cannon. Which we still might do. Anyway. Alternatively, next time we can run up here, open the door, and gun it down. That's going to be a little tricky, though. We'll just fire the last rocket next turn and see see what happens and deal with the aftermath then. We have seen no other Harridan or anything else around. Uh, I think this other door opened, which is why we saw inside it briefly. 
You have smoke in the way now, Mulder. We need to wait for that smoke to go away. No, what we're seeing is the fact we see inside the alien UFO at all. And then this becomes visible because the wings are visible. Come on, smoke, go away! <laughs> wow. There we go. Wow, most annoying smoke placement ever. Crouch you, Noah. This is your chance. You're gonna have to do it. If you can't shoot this door, then we have to go in. In which case, we can use Virago Val to open the door up for us, I think. Or, or, um, Poetic Tube. Nice. Excellent work. And you didn't blow it up. That was a fantastic final rocket. We don't see anything inside it. Let's stay, let's move you behind the rock now, Apathy Man. We can begin moving up a bit. This quick tube will set you up here, crouch you for a turn, and APEP. We can actually now get you outside. Gee, that's a that's a fine position. And Virago will move you on this side. That will do. Hmm. Person screaming right back and forth, screaming in fear. Remember that one guy? That one, that one mission we lost like three people? Where uh, he went into the alien UFO, went upstairs, took a teleporter upstairs? Man, he's recording everything on his, uh, on his smartphone. Not so smart a person. A smartphone got lots of information. We'll move up a little bit more. But we're not going to go in this turn. Next time we're going in, we should try to throw some smoke on Virago Vald's area, just in case, though. So, Gessner, you'll throw something. Apathy Man, will you scoot you up a tiny bit? What a tube. Why not? I want to know if anything comes on that teleporter. Mulder, take out your pistol. We can stand you. And actually, we can probably drop a few grenades from Virago on the ground now. For her. She's really pulling her weight today. That's a. It's, she's doing an amazing job, Noah. I, it's going to suck if I lose you. It sucks if I lose anybody, but especially someone who's doing so well in the, during the active mission. Okay, nothing's happening. Let's move up, open the door, and take a peek inside. I would like to have someone else open the door. So, Jennifer Phillips, do you have the T? I don't think you have the TUs to do it. No, you definitely don't. Apathy Man, you do. So, why don't you come over here and open this door for us? It's the classic layout. I'm very used to this. Move you inside Tarbo T. Move you up over here, Apathy Man. Guess we can take a peek really fast. 
Now nah, I'm committed now. Nothing. Move you up a little bit and crouch you, Robert. I think this is a better spot to leave him back here. If that blows up, that's really gonna suck. But I'd have to open this door, take a shot, go extremely odd, not hit either of these, and hit this, and do enough damage to blow it up. So, in other words, we're totally gonna lose him next turn. Let's have you move up here, Noah, uh, to where the grenades are. You'll start plucking them up. Oh, nice. You can pick up all three. Quick tube, you'll open this door for us. I don't think we're going to move in more than this on this side, though. Not this turn. I don't trust this side for some reason. This, it's in my soul. I don't have a good feeling about it. Let's get you there. Apep, let's crouch you behind the rock. All right, that's going to have to do it. Let's save the game. Had a few misclicks this time so far. Move you up here, Corey. All right, no hostiles here. Move both of you to the wall. No way you can move up and open the door. Put two, we can run you in. Crouch, Corey, move you behind him so you can still reaction fire if necessary. No, we can get you inside. Jonathan will stand you up and begin moving you toward the UFO proper. That's a plasma cannon. <laughs> That's a plasma cannon looking right at that door. man. Thank you very much. Thankfully, I did that without checking to make sure he had any ammo in his weapon, though. That would have been bad. walk over there, click, 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 and there's definitely nothing inside of the weapon. Uh, Robert, why don't we move you up now? That it's a lot safer moving to move you up. Crouch you. Tabo T, you can move up as well. Goodness, you peaked for us, Jonathan. The rest of it is clear. All right, let's move you back up to this spot. Leave you here. Apep, you'll continue to stand where, stay where you are. I don't need you up. Everyone else is up so far. Let's end the turn. Do you know what we can? We can safely move you up now that we know there's no other alien standing it outside. Okay, let's begin getting inside. Noah, you can open this door for our team. And, as usual, we need to anticipate that they have at least one an enemy waiting to hit us immediately upon exiting that teleporter. We'll have you stay here, Corey. Virago will move behind you. And be ready for them. On this side, Jennifer can open the door. We unfortunately have this in the way. We could walk over it and destroy it. And then move Apathy Man back in here later. I think we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. Then Robert can stand up and go in front all his to use to reaction fire. Tabo T can move behind to hopefully destroy the alien when it shows up. We can get you behind the corner here, Apathy Man, now. Destroying the door. 
Uh, that's not a good spot. Uh, let's move you here, actually, Robert. So we can do, do some reaction fire if necessary. Noah, we can get you in this corner. Play like two can run over here, turn, and crouch for reaction fire. And Jonathan Gessner, 79 reflexes. Holy crap. What do, what's yours? 60. I think you will move up here instead. Uh, Jonathan's going to have to move here. And that leaves you a pep outside. Let's have you begin joining us. Just in case there's a, like, a rogue Harridan still flying around outside. There's no reason to leave you out there. Get picked off by him. Woo! Okay, nothing came down. Perfect. This means that we're going to stay here for several... For like two or three rounds. Just to make sure nothing comes down after us. And then we'll go upstairs. Apep, we're probably going to want you to use grenades. Uh, let's reload anyway. Can't hurt to reload. Speaking of reloading, make sure everyone has enough clips in their weapon. I think so. No, I really don't want to lose you. we end up being Grenade Girl at the moment, though. Black Tube. I don't know where to move you. We'll move you here. Okay. Everyone who's crouching can stand up. Next turn, we're going inside. Right. We're ready for next for next turn. <sighs> okay. So if we move in one of my assaults to start, they have 360 vision, so I don't need to waste tea use looking around. So Turbo T, up you go. There is nothing here. Okay, good. We can hopefully kill most of them. Right the freak now. Move you here. Robert, you are set up. Corey, you are set up. The only problem here is I don't know if they're in the corners. If they are in the corners, this is going to get awkward. That's a plasma cannon. There's nothing in the corner here. It's a normal guy. We'll shut these doors. We're not going to go in there this turn. Not from the, not from that side. We, I still want to open the center door and take a peek. And fire if I'm able to do so. I wasn't sure if I could actually destroy that or not. The answer is no, we cannot. I heard three doors opening, so I suspect there's another one up here on the sides instead of in the corners. 
I don't want to lose you to a, a shot that comes in in a corner. We're going to move you guys like this instead. Sorry, man. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about where do I want to move? Is this what I want to do? And the answer is, I think yes. All right, let's end the turn. Okay. There's probably only those two in there, but darn it, if they're not going to make this easy for me. Whew. How are we going to do this? Jonathan can open the doors. They moved over there, both of them. Okay. It's just those two. Perfect. Let's get this one to turn and face us. Excellent. Apathy man. Oh, we should actually try to get some shots with Jennifer while we're here. Hey, nice. The chief gets a kill. This guy. I, th Virago, can you kill it? You can. Is that it? That's it. Awesome work, everyone. Four Elenium, 17 Alloys, 140, uh, $114,000. Lots of people died. <laughs> Almost everybody. What are you going to do, game? We spawned everyone right around the thing. At least someone lived. Thank goodness for that one civilian running back and forth screaming. All right. Uh, how are we looking on stats? Everything looks pretty good. Corey Jackson with the plus two to use. Good for you, sir. Ruggavald, you're injured for four days. We'll swap you out. Apathy Man gets two kills. Excellent work. Noah. No accuracy increased. That stinks. Okay. Well, still, well done all over team. The What was the biggest mistake you made? Any? I can't think of a really bad mistake. Obviously, Virago Vol took a hit, but that was because of a Harridan Solemn landed on the roof and fired a shot through the window that killed him. I couldn't have really anticipated that happening. I think we did well, everything else considered. It did take a little long. This time around, I suppose. Waiting for, waiting for that smoke thing to go away. But eh, we didn't lose anybody. So, good job, team. All right, everyone. Well, that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. I will see everyone in the next one. Take care, everyone.